It's Bourbon Night. Hello, I'm Chad. I'm Sarah. And welcome. So glad to see you all here. Your smiling, happy faces. <laughs> welcome to a dreary Sunday in Kentucky. Yes. It was storming about 30 minutes ago. It's not right now, so we think we're okay. I think we're good. <laughs> On the Wi-Fi. There has been some, uh, some power outages here recently. Yeah. Uh, just, you know. Kentucky. Blah. But welcome to the live stream. Uh, what we're doing today is we're going to talk about kind of some some sleeper bourbons, some bourbons that might not get the credit that they deserve. They're not on people's radars, but they mm -hmm. should be. Yeah. But exactly. are we doing them? Are we doing the good thing by putting them on your radar? Or are we doing the bad thing for us because if they're on your radar, like McKenna? Yeah, like McKenna, we would have said, we would have said was a sleeper bourbon. Now, obviously, no. completely not, but yeah. in the mainstream. Um, and then we're also talking about some more obscure bourbons. Now to kind of quantify or clarify this, not really like ones that are only sold at the distillery mm -hmm. or in one state, just like ones that do have a, a release in, in mm -hmm. several states, but just like no mm, one talks about fly under the yeah. radar. Just you never like you, if you invite someone over and they see this bottle, they're like, I've never seen that before. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So that's what we're kind of, you know, and we're, it's like obviously opinion based. So we want to get sure. your all's opinion. We got more bottles than we can try back here, so sure. we'll kind of mention uh, some, yeah, we those. Might, in yeah. fact, let's get a little let's get some get a little bourbon in our glass, and we got some other things to talk about here. Yeah. While we get into the episode, top of the show topics. Top of the show topics. <laughs> so, um, what should we do first? How about this? How about this? Let's do a semi quasi uncorking of Bowman Brothers small batch because I top of the show top of the show the tippity <laughs> top uh and also I should say if you're wanting to skip around to topics look at the pinned comment down below should have a timestamp so that way you can just if you're like oh this show's an hour long I don't want to listen to that yeah, for anyone watching the replay time. yeah for the replay people uh you can look at the timestamps and jump to where you want but we put this out on Patreon and we got a couple people saying the Bowman Brothers, Boop. either small batch or single barrel. We want to uncork the single barrel at mm -hmm. some point. So, we'll do an episode. Uh, and when we do that, we'll probably compare it here to the small batch. We'll just go ahead and... Yeah, we've had this one for corking. a while, just waiting. Um, yeah. Oh, where did we drive to? Chicago last year for my birthday. And uh, we stopped somewhere in... Uh, I don't even remember what state we were in. But picked up a couple of things. I got like a Paiso rye for 35 bucks. And Indiana? This, I think it was Indiana, and this is uh, wasn't too terrible on the price, so we picked it up too. But we haven't opened it yet. Nice pop. You just witnessed the live uncorking. Live uncorking. We don't do these too often. No, we don't. Um, but yeah, a couple people recommended this one from Patreon, so we thought. Thank you. Well, we've got it. Let's do Let's it. Let's do it. Yeah. So this is something that we weren't super familiar with, and we were standing in line last year at some release, and the guy. Next to us was like, oh, I've got a couple bottles if you guys want to drink. And we were like, well, first of all, that's really nice. Thank you. I mean, it's 730 in the morning, so yeah. I was kind of cold, and I was like, yes, yeah. please. Yeah, put that bourbon um, coat on. And this is one of the things. He had the single barrel. Mm -hmm. But this is one of the things he was talking to us about that we were not familiar with, and I don't think either of us had tried at that point. Yeah. Um, so he gave us some, and it was great. Uh, and then so we saw this bottle and picked it up. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Bowman Brothers Pioneer Spirit. Oh, it's Virginia light. straight bourbon whiskey, um, but I thought this was actually made by Buffalo Trace. Is what I heard. I don't know. Who knows? It's don't know. Light. If, if you guys know, give us a shout. Hello, my bourbon journey. How are you? <laughs> oh, at Chad. Is that me or someone else named Chad? I don't know. Well, anyway, I'm still saying hi to you. There's Perry. Hey, Perry. Yeah, we got uh, James is in here. Chris in Australia. Oh, Chris already. So early. Yeah. Good morning. <laughs> good morning. Um, so this is 90 proof, small batch. It's super light. It is light. But the nose is good. It doesn't nose like young. It smells like an old familiar. An old familiar. Old familiar. Hmm. It's kind of nice. It's a little yeah. perfumey, but it's mm -hmm. got a little bit of wood notes in there. Nothing too intense. I want to drink it. A little bit of brown sugar, like some light brown sugar. A light bit of everything. Light bit of spice, light bit of barrel. A light bit. A light bit. It's it's Bowman light. <laughs> it's only forty five calories. No, I don't know. <clears throat> Hi Pam. Hi Pam. Huh. 
It's good. It is good. I'm not in love with the finish. I liked, I really you, liked you, the front you, part of that. You just had it not five seconds ago, and you're already talking about the finish. Let it, let it soak in. No. No? No. So you're saying it's a really short finish, then? I mean, for me, I could still taste the taste I didn't like at the very end of it. Mm -hmm. The back of the palate. I wouldn't say hi, fam. <laughs> hi, fam. <laughs> um, and I, I'm getting some of the warmth from it, but that doesn't look stable. Not at all. Um, Do you see how light it is? I don't know. It was like I got this really good flavor rush at the front of it that I was like, wow, this is really surprising me. But then there was like this weird back end bitter taste mm -hmm. that kind of killed it. Not killed it. Thwarted my dreams about it. Thwarted. 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 Someone is asking, did we get a bottle of the King of Kentucky? Funny that you ask that. Wait about five minutes. That's the next topic on our list. <laughs> yeah. Um, let's kind of live with this for a little bit, and we'll start going down our list, and then we'll kind of do our, our wrap-up thoughts on this. How about that? Yes, sounds good. Okay. Um, so David just said, do I ever get Allison Brie as my celebrity doppelganger? Yeah, people have said that before. I take that as a huge compliment. Like, thank you to anyone that says that. Yeah. Um, I don't see it, but I'm happy. <laughs> like, that's yeah. awesome. <laughs> Who wouldn't want to be compared to Alison Brie? I mean, maybe if we said you look like Alison Brie, like, that might not go so well, but... I'd be all right with it. <laughs> Someone said the other day, you look like a skinny Seth Rogen. Well, well thank you for saying it. Skinny <laughs> version of Seth <laughs> Okay, how's this, how's this laugh go? It's so weird. <laughs> no, it's like Pee Wee Herman. No, it's like Fat Albert. Yeah. <laughs> I don't oh, know. no. Wow. Well. Yeah, it's also anyway, throaty. It is, yeah. Sorry I went there. I'd have to hear it. Yeah. Um, so, what have we been buying? That might be, if we've bought something since the last live episode, something we might incorporate in the live episodes if we've bought anything. What have we been buying? Well... Um, we picked up, eh. you picked this up actually, I surprised did. me with this, um, the, the Basil Surprise. Hayden 2x2 two two rye, so this is two ryes, two bourbons, and uh, two turntables, and a microphone, <laughs> all inside, <laughs> Beck had, Beck made this, right, yeah, um, all inside <laughs> this bourbon, or this, sorry, this whiskey, uh, so we're going to be trying this. It it looks very Irish with the color scheme here. Yeah. It seems like all rye labels have to have green in it. I feel like every rye has green somewhere mm -hmm. on it, which I like. I mean, this is like one of my favorite colors, green. So. I said we doubled down with this balanced blend of two rye and two bourbon and really? one beer. Lots of alliteration. Two rye, two bourbon, one beer. That doesn't work. That's but. all right. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, we got that. Um, we also picked up a barrel bourbon. This is going to be going in our barrel proof flight fight. So this is, I mean, take that back. No, I wanted to just hold it. We're going to do an uncorking of this, right? Oh, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Bye-bye. Uh, this is batch 14 cast strength, nine years, 109.4 proof barrel bourbon. That'll go in our barrel proof, going in barrel proof barrel flight proof? fight. I still can't say it. Barrel proof Since flight last week, fight. I haven't improved. Nope. No improving. <laughs> Please work on that. And then lastly, what we picked up is King of Kentucky! What? what? We got one of the 960 bottles. Because we're special. No, because Perry, thank Perry in the comments, yeah. he stood in line to get a wristband to have a chance to be drawn for one of the, I think they got two cases? Two cases. At that store? Yeah. So to be one of, him, there was a limit of 250 people. I don't think that many people were there, but... Yeah. Anyways, reveal uh, it. And guess what? We've already uncorked it, and it'll be Friday's episode. Woo! You know, here we were talking about we're gonna start doing more, uh, you know, mid price, <laughs> more approachable, more we like Eagle Rare. staples like Eagle Rare and uh, Wild Turkey and Buffalo Trace and uh, Blantons and and then <laughs> here's our two hundred and thirty dollar <laughs> King of Kentucky. But, you know, like I said, when things pop up and they're topical, we're going to slide them I in. I mean, I, yeah, I feel like everyone's talking about this right now, yeah, and it would be so. a shame to not put that out now when people are interested uh, and want to know about it. Should I buy it? Because it's going to be marked up. I've already seen it on the secondary for like 800 bucks. Crazy. 
So if you're debating, am I going to buy this or not? We want to help you. And yeah, so watch the episode when it comes out on Friday. Uh, so this is bottle 69 of 78. So they only got 78 bottles out of this barrel. Uh, there were 16 barrels total. So they said like 30% is what was left in the barrels. Right. That's crazy. 14 years old, non chill filtered, single barrel. That is 128.6 proof. So look forward to that on Friday. It's a nice little tease, isn't it? That gets yeah. everybody excited for it, hopefully. You know what? This is growing on me. This Bowman Brothers. How much did we pay for this? I can't remember. Oh, it's been a minute. It's been so I long. I want to say it's around the $30 mark. That's what I thought, too, but I can't remember. Because the single barrel was like around 45 I feel like, or 42 Yeah. I remember seeing it and thinking that's a good price, so uh, that's why I went ahead and picked up the single barrel one. And I you did. know what? It's warming me up more than I thought a 90 proof would. It's, um... There's nothing real complex about it at all, but it's just really solid. I think it's an easy drinker. Yeah, if you like bourbon, I feel like you're going to like this. Um, I feel like this would be something that would be, if you're going to somewhere with a group of people who, you know, are at different places in their bourbon journey. Sure. This would My be... My bourbon journey. This would be, um, you know, appeasing to everyone. Mm -hmm. You know, the Barrel Proof fans might not love it as much, but they'll drink it and be happy with it and it's fine. And then new people might think, oh, well, this is something I haven't had before. Yeah. So you kind of cover your bases on that, I think. I would kind of akin this to, like, the Eagle Rare that we did last on Corking. It's just a solid bourbon, you know? It's kind of like, it tastes like a staple. Yes. Not like you're licking a staple. It doesn't taste like Chad, metal. what do staples taste like? You never... Me either, me either. That's weird. Um, but it just tastes like, you know, again, an old familiar. Yep. Around $32 in Northern Kentucky. Nice. Here you got that reference. Yeah, for 32 bucks, I mean, it's it's good. Mm -hmm. um, I think that seems about right for the price. Yeah. But, you know, there's always something cheaper. And we'll talk about some of those. We will. We and will. we will. We will. Um, all right. Let's refill our glass, and we'll go th keep going down our, our list here. Okay. Um, so this is where we need your guys' help. Because we pulled some stuff that we thought... Let's do, what you want to do, Sleeper or uh, Obscure? I think... For this next one. Let's do Obscure. All right. Because I think some of the Sleeper bourbons that we've put back here, we've talked about before, and sure. I think we could wait till later in the episode to talk about those things, but I'd like to get something out there that maybe not everyone has seen or tried. All right. I got one. You got one? I got one. I got one. I don't think we've talked about this one. Kentucky Pride? And correct me if I'm wrong if we have talked about it, but... I don't think we have. Uh, I found this at Benny's in Chicago. And I looked at it, and I was like, Kentucky Pride, Kentucky, small batch bourbon whiskey. Why have I never seen this Distilled in, in Kentucky? Distilled in Bargetown, Kentucky. Why have I never seen this? I yeah. live in Kentucky. <laughs> uh, so I bought it, and then did a little research, and if memory serves, because I didn't uh, recheck this, but it's made by Willet. And... I don't know if it's not released in Kentucky. Wouldn't that be a... a yeah, I mean, maybe it's... A, uh, I don't understand. Why? A Shonda? Wouldn't that be a Shonda? I don't... I don't know. <laughs> um, so, yeah. Uh, I've been working on it for a little bit. We've sipped on this before, and yeah. I was surprised that I liked it yeah? so much. Like, I kept going back to it a couple days in a row. I can't really remember it. Well, you're about to try it again. I'm so. about to remember it. You're about to remember. I'm about to Chris remember. Chris says... That it'll be interesting to see our reaction to the taster of the Jim Beam 1795 I'm bringing over to you in September. Oh, right. That's the one that they couldn't sell in the U.S. Because oh. of some type of copyright infringement. It was too much like 1792, I guess. Or oh, I see. Something like that. You know, correct me if I'm wrong. Interesting. Um, but uh, I'm excited to try that. Oh, totally excited. September can't get here fast enough. It can't. It's like the best time of the year. It's Bourbon Heritage Month. Our friends come from Australia. There's so many things going on. Bourbon and Beyond. We might try to do Kentucky a meetup in Festival. September. Let's try to do a meetup in September. How about Ooh. that? Because there's going to be outside, uh, you know, outside of Kentucky people coming into Kentucky for these yes. reasons. Yes. So let's do a meetup. Yeah, like I would like to do an official plan Chad and Sarah meetup sometime in the future. Well, I've met with you before. Activities. Chad and Sarah meet. And, like, actually our own thing. She's but I listening. feel like that 
thinking about doing that by September, it's July now, gives me anxiety. <laughs> so I'm thinking it might just be one of those things where it's like, hey, let's just make a Facebook group page for everyone that's going to be in town in September and figure out a date and we'll just plan like a night at a bar or something and we'll just do our own like a little mini- at the Roxbury. A mi- mini meetup kind of a thing. Not or a like- night at the museum. Tours, followed by dinners, followed by drinks at this place. That's just giving hotel blocks of so rooms. That's a, giving me anxiety. A symposium where we're going to speak at length. Oh, this one's different than the topics. last time. I know. It, it's really interesting. This is also 90 proof. Another small batch. So we're, we're, uh, we got a theme here. Didn't even know it. I think it smells, <laughs> brace yourself, internet, nutty. Oh, no. <laughs> Who's drinking right now? Who just drank? That's what I want to know. Does it not? Hmm. Does it not? I'm trying to do too many things at once. It does. But it, I get musty. Yeah, it's a musty nut. Must, a musty nut. <laughs> it's a musty nut. <clears throat> Let's see. I'm trying to find my place. All right, I'm going to dive in while she okay. keeps up with the chat. All right. Let's see. Old Blue Colorado Bourbon is a sleeper. I've never heard of that. Is that only sold in Colorado or just surrounding areas? Or what's what's its story? We should do an unboxing of Art Eatables Bourbon Chocolate hmm. Truffles. I've never heard of that. I've never heard of that. That sounds delicious. I would happily. Obviously, it's a sleeper because we haven't heard of it. Bellmead Single Barrel. Mm. We have some Bellmead. We, we don't, don't have, have a single, single barrel. barrel. I think we have a small batch. A yeah, small, small batch. batch. Small batch. Question mark. Oh, someone else said they think they sell this in the Willet gift shop. Oh, okay. Uh, sadly, I've never been on the Willet tour. I've been to their gift shop twice, but they're always sold out. Yeah, I've been there three or four times. Mm-hmm. Uh, <laughs> uh, a couple of those were just for the gift shop. I don't ever remember seeing this in the gift shop. But, you know, they've done a, a remodel, a big expansion, so they might be carrying more products now. Someone said, oh, yeah, we could do, yeah, us and Perry. We could get people from around here to come to this. I'm back to this meetup idea. <laughs> Someone else said maybe the Goodfellas Pizza. Like, that was. Oh, Wise Guys? My immediate thought was, what, yeah, Goodfellas and Wise Guys, because the space is so open, it would be like perfect for that kind of thing. But mm-hmm. we'll discuss. Yeah, maybe we could call, uh, you know, our Tennessee friends when we get the podcast. Yeah, sh- Come up that if would they be want really to, cool. or, you know, something. They might all already are, be up. For, all are welcome. Yeah, so we'll see. We'll figure it out. We'll see. I I think it tastes nutty. I do. Um, and and dark, <laughs> mm-hmm. if that's a thing. You know, it tastes. Um, mm, yeah, it goes. I don't know how else to say it besides dark. It just goes dark. Yeah. It's good though. I like it. Ah. It's hotter than I thought. That's funky. I don't know about that. It's 90 good. proof. It tastes higher proof than that. Someone wasn't listening. <laughs> I wasn't. No. I was a little bit. I like it. I like it. Um, I think it's unique enough to like throw in the mix occasionally. I don't know if I would keep going back to it pour after pour, but I'd probably throw it in the rotation, mix things up a little bit pour it for someone who hasn't had it and be like, you know, what do you think? Kind of kind of mix it up. Um, next thing in the news. It is nutty, but I also feel like it's lacking on the finish again. It goes kind of flat for me. Well, that's weird. I don't know about that. Okay. All right. Fair enough. I'll contemplate it. Also in the news, besides <laughs> that, <laughs> extra, extra, all points bulletin, um, Star Trek is getting into the bourbon business with the James T. Kirk bourbon, uh, which you can pre-order, I believe, right now. Yes, you can pre-order. 70 bucks, I think. I'm not going to pre-order it. I read that it seems like it would be a limited release, but they're actually intending on making it a regular offering. So I'm not uh, going to pre-order it. Yeah. Like we thought Statesman was going to be yeah, exactly. real limited, and now, and it's, now just it's just sitting, sitting there, on shelves and with the price good. being lowered. <laughs> yeah. yeah so. so, you know, we'll maybe wait for some reviews, kind of see. I mean, I'm not the biggest Star Trek fan. I'm more definitely more Star Wars. Uh, I did like the new movies, but, you know, just saying. Just saying. I'm a little worried, though, because 
So we got the Star Trek bourbon. We've got the Heaven's Heaven's Gate, Heaven's uh, Door, Heaven's Gate, Heaven's, <laughs> Heaven's Door. door. From uh, it's Bob Dylan. Bob Dylan. Yeah, Metallica's gonna Metallica do their own whiskey. Metallica has a, a whiskey coming out. Uh, there's the G.R. Ewing from Dallas. That is an awful bourbon. Sorry, but it's just but, awful. That we had the Statesman, not good. Yeah, Statesman, which was tied to a movie, we didn't like. I know some people do, but we didn't care for it. Uh, it's like all these. Again, I've made the the comparison to comic books in the '90s. They just kept coming out with. You know, cover one of six, collect them all, or like hologram covers and, you know, $10 special issues, and then the bottom dropped out, you know? So I'm just worried, like, all these people jumping on the bourbon bandwagon, it's just going to end up bursting the bubble. Discuss. I'll give you a topic. That's it. Discuss. 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 <laughs> it's just coffee talk. <laughs> I'm so, trying to keep up. I don't know. Old Blue is from Black Canyon Distilling in Longmont, Colorado. I haven't had it. Okay. Would like to have it. Mm. Sal L. Hello, welcome. He's sending us some mystery samples. Oh, good. Soon. Thank you. Sweet. I'm super excited about that. I love a good mystery. I <laughs> love a good mystery. Um, have we heard about the 25% addition tax to bourbon in the UK due to the trade? Yeah. Um, I mean, it's... I, I don't know what to say about that. Um, sucks. Yeah, I mean, it sucks for people over there who love bourbon. I feel like anyways, there's it's already hard to get normal good things at a reasonable price, and now it's going to be even harder. Yeah. And just for your average, whether you whatever you feel politically, for your average bourbon drinker, like, nobody wants to pay more for something they're already having a tough time finding. Yeah. So. Right. You know, whatever. Um, know. We're also going to do a uh, sample shout-out every week. Um, and we've... Actually, I already tried something from Evan and Cassie, but I wanted to give you guys the full rundown on what Evan and Cassie have sent us because we're in for some good times. Um, let me just start here. 2018 Yellowstone Select 93 Proof. Hmm? Also, look at these cute little bottles. They're <laughs> yes. so cute. 1971 Yellowstone 7 Year 90 Proof. Hello! <laughs> <coughs> 2017 Yellowstone Limited Edition Non Age Statement 101 Proof Charred Wine Cask Finish. Mouthful. Right there. Uh, Kentucky Owl Straight Rye Whiskey Batch Number 1, 11 Year, 110.6 Proof. I'm like, tell me what it is. <laughs> 2015 Yellowstone Limited Edition, 7 Year, 105 Proof. I feel like we're going to have to do a Yellowstone. Yeah, like a, a little, flight. A Yellowstone flight. 1985 Old Fitzgerald, 10 Year, 101 Proof, Stitzel Weller, if that matters. Oh, it matters. It matters. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 2016 Yellowstone Limited Edition, 7 Year, 101 Proof. Yep. Gotta, yes, Gotta yes. do that Yellowstone I want this. flight. Joseph Magnus Cigar Blend Batch Number 6, 112.8 proof. Got some high proofs, which I love. Chris, I'll answer your question and say I'm sure he would love that. <laughs> 2017 George T. Stagg, 15 year, 129.2 proof. And lastly, 1980 Old Weller, 7 year, 107 proof gold vein. If you're into that kind of thing. Again, yes. If you're into that. 19. If that's eight, what, what you're, you're into. into. <laughs> yeah. So we're going to have some fun with these samples for sure. Like I said, we might have to make for an episode sure. out of it. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So thank you. We've got more than enough to yeah. make several. <laughs> so yeah. mm -hmm. we'll just be having them here and there. So working what, them in. What? What did you say? Oh, um, Chris said uh, that he, he said, do you want me to bring a taster of some Wild Turkey Masters Keep 1894, which was only released in Australia? Um, and I just said, I'm sure he would uh, greatly enjoy that. Yes. <laughs> greatly. I don't think there's going to be a scenario where Chad says, no, thank you. <laughs> oh, no, I don't want that thing that I can't get here. This from Wild Turkey, a distillery that I love. <laughs> All right. You want to stick on the uh, obscure? Okay. All right. I don't know how obscure this is, so this might be a blunder, but... A blunder. It might just be one that people pass over because it is a butt-ugly label. Oh, it's so ugly. <laughs> so this is called Wild Catter. It's an eight-year Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, and it has ties to, I believe, Texas because of William Billy Banks, a Texas oil tycoon. Yeah. 
um, a character larger than life and was nicknamed King of the Wildcatters, hence the name of this bourbon. So it's got ties to Texas, but it's a Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey. <clears throat> it's eight years, which is a very uh, respectable, respectable thank yeah. you, age. And I want to say this was like twenty eight, twenty nine 29 dollars it was under 30 dollars yeah but so i was and like, the reason why we got it n- obviously not because of the bottle it's because we were doing a 50, 50 under 50. 50 so we bought it for we were that like, for science whenever he made me try it i was like i'm not looking forward to this one this is going to be disgusting judging a book by its label exactly and you shouldn't do that because i also don't think the david nicholson reserve bottle is very pretty oh whoopsie and it tastes good. So... Well, it's prettier than this bottle. It's prettier... This bottle is ug- ugly. I mean... It's, it's not even like a gold foil. It's like... Just... Mm. Ew, there's just too much. It's just well, too much. I don't know. It, <laughs> it looks like... <laughs> and I've seen this on other bottles. It looks like a picture that was like a thumb stamp size that they had to blow up. Yes. So it's just not great definition and... Oh, and the font here? You can't even, you can can't you read, even read it. Like, it's just, I'm sorry, whoever designed this, I'm so sorry for hating on you. Maybe it wasn't your vision. But there's so many different fonts and, like, weird elements going on. You can't even read this scripty font. I think this is what it says. Let me translate. Fake glasses. Wildcatters in Texas would savor a bottle of bourbon as they gambled for the highest stakes. Okay, that makes sense. Black gold. Oh. Texas tea. Now listen to the story about a man named Jed. Poor mountaineer barrel kept his family fed. Out one day he was shooting at some food and up from the ground because some bubbling crude. Oil, that is. Black gold. Texas tea. I don't, I don't even know what I, to do right now. I don't know the next so verse. Sorry. Uh, Beverly Hillbillies. Uh, thank uh, you. And scene. <laughs> okay. Uh... <laughs> What the heck? I don't know. I didn't know I had that in me. I, I didn't know you did either. I wasn't going to stop it. I got so excited. It was great. I saw. Yeah. The eye contact was a lot. <laughs> it was intense eye contact. Um, Perry, you designed this bottle. I'm so sorry. Oh, no, Perry. <laughs> but um, it was his freshman year project. <laughs> for the price, like someone said, for the price, it is really good. I, and I think people probably pass over it. They probably don't even pick it up to know that. I mean, it's got this little eight ear right here, but people probably don't even give it enough time to notice that eight ear. Well, I think it was also sitting on the bottom because shelf. Because they're just like, yeah, it looks like bottom shelf crap that's overpriced. But, you know, let's revisit it. Smells nutty. And musty. I'm not going to say the other thing. I can't say it. Why? <laughs> because they want me to. I forget what your thing is. They said that... Every, that they drink every time you say Nundy, but they drink every time I say Musty Nut. <laughs> musty Nut? Yeah. Whoa. Weird. I don't know. I think it smells intriguing and inviting. So. I mean, it's not bad. It could definitely, you mm. know, there are areas of improvement, I feel, but. It's not bad at all. Overall. This is also 90 proof. So we've just had three 90 proofers. I think, again, of the three 90 proofs that we've had, this one has the most heat on it. I don't like its cork, though. Doesn't seem like it's Is this a baby seal. Saz bottle? No, it's something kind of... I wouldn't call it similar. I mean, we're both looking. Is there one back there? No, there's not. There used to be. Um, I think the baby Saz bottle is like a little bit sexier than this bottle. Yeah. But... Uh, yeah, I haven't seen a... Don't really remember I've never seen anything else in this bottle that I can like recall this. before, yeah. But, I would still classify this as a sleeper. It's, and obscure. <laughs> I think it's both. I agree. It is a sleeper and it's obscure. And it's something that, unless we were doing that project, I would say. Yeah. I don't think we ever would have picked this up. I resisted. I, I mean, not, not, drink not until we were in need of content. We're like, ah, uh, we reviewed everything in the world. Oh, okay, here's one, Wildcat. <laughs> Uh, But yeah, it was because of that. Ooh, it does have a tongue tingle to it. A tongue tingle. A tongue tingle. It's not a punch. A tingly tongue. Yeah, but it's got it's got some stuff happening. Um, Yeah. Uh, (laughs) Woo! I like it. 
Charlie Mike said I was just singing along on the Hillbillies theme. My wife is looking at me like I'm crazy. <laughs> Probably the same look that I had, which was like, I don't really know what to do right now, but I'm going to let you finish. Cause... I'm picturing that you have headphones in, so she just heard you just start singing it and was like, okay, <laughs> okay, what's what's he doing on YouTube? Watching some Hillbillies. That was funny. Um, But it's good. I enjoy it. It's a little touch dry. It's a little bit dry. But I think the eight years old and the price point. Mm-hmm. I could get I could deal with it. Sleeper obscure. Who else has had this? Has have people said this they've is, had it? Uh some most people have said that they haven't seen it. Okay. A couple people said that they have. Um I would say of the ones that we've tried so far, it would be between the Bowman brothers or this is what I would go with. Oh. Um I like the Kentucky Pride. I think I liked it better previously. I don't know if it's opened mm. up or changed, but yeah, I'd, I'd lean more this. This one definitely has the most bite to it. This one has the most, uh, yeah, heat, the longest finish. Um, but it's weird how we've had a couple of nutty bourbons here in a row. Yeah, well. I like that. He likes that. So, um, let's see. Um, Maker's Cast Strength or Maker's 46? That's easy for you. Cast Strength. Yeah, same. Um... Uh, Let's see. I keep scrolling and it keeps jumping around and I lose my place. Um, Chris, I will get back to you about bringing that bottle over from Australia. I am thinking about it. I'm <laughs> contemplating it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> see what else we got. What else do we Let have? Let me just read you guys what we have here. Yeah, read them. I'll read you. We have David Nicholson One, Reserve, which I think could border on a sleeper. Or an obscure, but hey. You got five. Thank you for the super chat for the Hillbillies theme. I'll Thank let you. you. For now on, you can sing whatever theme song you want I will. to. <laughs> Might have kind of you. Thank you. Uh, oh. Hey. Dang. Total Garage? twenty four ninety nine. Thanks. Thank for you for enjoying our reviews. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you for the super chat. Cheers to you. Appreciate it greatly. Um, wow. So, yeah. So, David Nicholson Reserve, again, that one I think is kind of on the line. I know we've talked about it before and stuff. Uh, so we have that one. We have Walking Stick, which is a single barrel, ninety again, 90 proof, mm -hmm. Buffalo Trace product that we don't see around here. Someone uh, sold this to me, found it, uh, probably in like Florida or Texas, somewhere around there. Uh, in the same camp of Buffalo Trace, or at least maybe I should say Sazerac, because I think it might yes. be Barton. Barton or Buffalo Trace. Um, uh, Chestnut Farms. Another single barrel? You know what? Have I had that? I think you've had it. I don't think I have. I don't think this is a single barrel. If I've had that, I don't remember. But it's in the E.H. Taylor bottle. <laughs> it's 90 proof. Um, so we have that. Then we go to some Kentucky only, which again, I know I said... But I would put these more as sleepers, not as... Mm -hmm. As, uh, as obscure. obscure. Sleepers. The Heaven Thank Hill... You, David. 90 proof, and the Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond. Both six-year bourbons, both found on the bottom shelf, both $12 or less, so that's why we call those sleepers. Love it. I know a lot of people appreciate them, especially the Bottled and Bond. We kind of, for some odd reason, lean towards that green label. I gravitate to the green label. And we're higher proof people. We are. I think that <sighs> it's, it's one of those scenarios where they're pretty close, and the flavor of one kind of... For mm -hmm. me, it's about that. Yeah. I don't dislike the bottom bond, Not but if you give me a choice, I'm going to choose the green. Which is odd. Really strange. Can't explain it. So we have that. Uh, and then that's it. Let me read you a little bit of what people on Patreon were saying today as suggestions. Again, we took the the, I want... the Bowman Brothers. Um, I could do Chestnut Farms or the Walking Stick. So actually, Chad Hawley uh, said Evan Williams Single Barrel and Larceny are both way better than they get credit for. I'd probably agree. Yeah, I would agree with I that. I think a lot of people are split on Larceny. Like, a lot of people really hate it. I don't know I would know much why. rather have it than Makers. Same. It's less expensive. It's higher proof. Better tasting, better tasting in my in opinion. Better tasting, in my opinion. Yeah, I think their low price point gives people the impression that they can't stand up to more expensive bourbons. Agreed, Chad. Uh, Justin said Hancock's Presidential Reserve, which is, again, another Buffalo Trace product. Again, not seen around here, seen in other places. Or you were one of the people who suggested the Bowman Small Batch. Uh, Scott said, this is for you, Sarah, fighting cock bourbon, LOL. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I mean, we had that in one of our flights. Yeah, um, the 1525. Let's pick one. Um, someone said pull the $12. 
Oh, by sleeper bourbon, we just mean someone else asked that. I mean, we just doesn't mean, get the credit it deserves. Right, or gets passed over. Unexpected, something yeah. that's really good that you didn't expect that you. Oh, I pass forgot. Over. Uh, Evan Williams, seventeen eighty three, was supposed to be on the card. It's right over there. You left it out. Well, no, I just knew it was there. I didn't bring it. Yeah, it's my baby. <laughs> you heard its feelings. Uh, so let me just get through these comments here. Another. So James also said Bowman Brothers small batch or single barrel, very old Barton bottled and bond, um, uh, uh, and uh, the barrel bourbons as well. Uh, Jason said Johnny Drum. I'm really curious about this. So Kyle I'm said this. Wild Turkey 101. And at first I was like, what? But then it was like, yeah, I think a lot of people pass over Wild Turkey 101 because they're like, meh. Is this new? Yeah. It used to be, uh, we were listening to either Jimmy or Eddie. I think it was Jimmy. Jimmy Russell. No! I think it already did that. I don't think that was you. Uh-oh. <laughs> we have to get some pliers for that. Uh, so we're not having this one. No. Whoops. <laughs> but anyway, I think Jimmy said, people used to think when you came in and ordered Wild Turkey 101 neat that you were like a badass, that you didn't want to mess with that person. That person could get in a fight with you, you know. And you used to be able to go into a bar and just say, I'll have 101, because they were the only 101 proof bourbon out there. Uh, and then other people, you know, jumped on that, so... I would agree with 101 to, to some degree. I think with the Matthew McConaughey involvement now, a lot more attention has been turned to, to 101. Uh, although, obviously, he likes stuff like Long Branch, which is less in your face. Yeah. It's a walking stick. Again, Sazerac owned or made bourbon. 90 proof. Again. Again. <coughs> a lot of these are 90 proof, and that was not... Uh, Single barrel. Yeah. Um, a lot of people are commenting your wall art. Those no, are no, prints from Etsy. Yeah. Um, maybe, maybe we could put the link in somewhere. Sure. I could find it. Yeah. Um, prints that we bought on Etsy, and then the frames are just from, like, a local craft store. So. Michaels. Michaels. Well, I don't know if they have Michaels everywhere. That's a chain. I think, but I don't know. Michaels.com. Sh- sure. <laughs> sure. Um... I yeah. haven't had this in a while. I yeah. wanted to try that Chestnut Farms, but that didn't work. I mean, if out. I went and grabbed some pliers, we could try it. It's no big deal. We don't have to do that. Yeah. Unless they demand it. Then we won't. It but I think demanded. we've got plenty of other things we can sip on. Yeah. So. Yeah. So, walking sick. This is one of your early uncorkings, like by yourself even. Mmm. That's true. What a sad time. <laughs> That's smoky. Oh, it is smoky. That reminds me a little bit of a scotch. <laughs> so he doesn't like it. No, it's reminiscent, but it's it's not. Um, man, this one's kind of dry, too. It is a little dry. <clears throat> I just remember thinking when I had it, it was good, but nothing special. So this obviously goes in the obscure category. Um, at least for us here in Kentucky. You know, you you guys let us know if this is... Normally seen on your seen shelves, this. Uh, but walking stick, single barrel. <clears throat> Someone says, "Pliers, go get the pliers. <laughs> get the damn pliers, please." Well, I would do a close up of the bottle, but this is what happens. Mm. Yeah, it gets it gets blurry. It gets blurry, but um, you know, <laughs> there's really no way to fix that. Just Google it; you'd be fine. Yeah, walking um, st- walking stick. Let's see. Uh, David Benson said. Just curious, what are our, and this is going to be a long conversation that probably won't happen today, but Chad can probably throw some things out there. What is your bourbon soundtrack like for a road trip if we're going somewhere? What is it that you would want to listen to? So, think on that. Hmm, interesting. Someone said, they. Charlie Mike said, I've never seen Walking Stick. Yeah, I've never seen it. And they've yet, I've never seen it on a store shelf, actually, ever. Yeah, the only reason I've ever seen it is because it came to you. Like, yeah, I've it, it made its way here. <laughs> God bless it. Yeah, it is smoky though. It is smoky. Um, it's fine. I wouldn't put it as my favorite of the day. Uh, no. I wonder if that's how it tasted when I initially reviewed it, because I don't remember that. But that's also been like more than I don't know. It's been like two years About ago. About two years, yeah. Oh, time flies. <laughs> yeah. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. Not a glowing endorsement, but it's yeah. fine. 
it'll pass. We have a Wyoming whiskey, actually, uh, like a 375 of the Wyoming whiskey. I think mm. we're saving that for an uncorking. Yeah? Yeah. That's right. It is on the list. Mm-hmm. The big list of things to uncork. Yeah. Uh, so we had another pliers. Yeah. Um, as far as road trip music to a distillery, I don't know. I don't really connect any certain type of of music to bourbon. I think a lot of people might say bluegrass because it's Kentucky and Kentucky is bourbon. I think it's all about the atmosphere that you're in for that to be yeah. correct. I mean... And wherever I, we go... More often than not, if you go to a distillery and they're having music for some reason, it's going to be something with a banjo. It's going to be some bluegrass. And, and but I'm okay with A lot that. of bluegrass... If we're talking about like the Oh Brother or Art Thou type of old-timey, mm-hmm. I love that. That's awesome. I would totally listen to that. Um, I think Chad's go-to is just his normal go-to music list, which is... A lot of 90s punk. A lot of just... Inspired rock. Yeah. Punk bands that most people haven't heard of. Just a lot of punk rock. <laughs> That's pretty much, yeah. Yeah. But, you know... And then, I, and then I get to choose some, too. But... Well, normally, if you're in the car, I put it on something that you like. That we both I like. I like 90s music. That we both like. I like all kinds of music, so... You know. But except new country, sorry. Yeah. Mm. No. I could find something in any genre that I could deal with. Except for that. Except new country. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. Oh, bad. Old, old country, yes. Yeah, like outlaw country. Yeah. Yes. Yes. That's what I listen That's to. That's what some Joe Johnny ju- Cash. Joe just said some old southern rock and outlaw country. Yes. Joey. Joe. Joe. Joey. Joe. Joe. Uh, Shavadu. <laughs> That's. Let's see if anyone get that gets that. Okay. I don't. I have this I friend. Uh, Joey. Joe Joe Shabadoo. And then a guy runs out of the bar crying, and then another guy says, Joey Joe Joe! Because <laughs> that was actually his name. I have no idea what you're talking about. They'll get it. Willie and Waylon? That's, yes, good music. Mm hmm. Yeah. So, am I going to have to go with the pliers? You or do what? have to go get the pliers. Okay. I'm going to sit here. Can you. Can you hold? Yeah. Hold them here. If I come back and we're less than 110 watching. Oh my gosh, you guys, that's a lot. So put on my shoulders. <laughs> Please don't leave me. Don't leave me. I'll get in trouble. <laughs> um, so, yeah, overall, this walking stick. Eh. If you've never tried it, it's all right. I wouldn't be too upset that you've never tried it. I'm not super excited. But yes, he's going to get the pliers. Sorry. Oh, or a wine opener. That's a good idea, too. What should I have while he's gone? Hmm. Mm. You know what? I'm going to do the bottle of mine today. Just for fun. Rusty Baker, thank you for joining our Patreon page. We appreciate it. See, I'm fine. He's already back. That was the other thing. We can talk about that. Patreon? Okay. 109, you lost somebody. I'm sorry, I lost one Someone person. said, Chad's gone, I'm out. Well, they, they were really here. Now 111. it's 111. Okay, we picked Until this. you got back, so. <laughs> Fine. 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 Here, I'll grab you what you're looking for. You're looking for this. He tried to act like I was the one who ruined this cork, and then he was like, after acting so offended and hurt, was oh, like, that's already uh, happened. that was already like that. <laughs> I get guilt tripped like that. Will you uh, hold the On the, the regular, bottle? yes. Ooh, I don't know if this is... Scalpel. <laughs> if this is going to open up wide enough. Oh, you're going to rip it. Nope, you got it. <laughs> we might have to transfer this to another bottle after this, though. I. Someone said I can do better than this. I mean, I can, but that we're talking about Obscure and Sleeper. Yeah, obscure and Sleeper. And this... Around here, I feel like people generally know this, but I don't know. Yeah, I wouldn't call it obscure. Spread. I would call it a sleeper, maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, what do you got? Oh, you got that. Okay. I didn't know that it was going to be that quick. Can I thought we that there just was... share that? Sure. All right, fine. <laughs> no, I wanted to, yeah, I for, totally forgot this in our agenda. Who's who's taking the minutes? Is there any new business? Perry, you're supposed to be taking the minutes. <laughs> Perry, uh, read that back to me. <laughs> Transcript form. Bye, Jason Whiskey Wise. Enjoy your dinner. Thank you. Thanks for stopping in. Um, we want to talk about uh, an upcoming video. And we put this on Patreon last Ooh, week. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and we got some great responses from our patrons. It, it's now a public post, so you can go to patreon.com slash and read the post. It's just it's two posts ago because I posted about today's live stream. 
recently. But it's basically a little blurb about uh, an upcoming video that we need some help with. So we kind of missed the 10K subscriber mark. We were busy. We're doing research on merch and all this and that. So we kind of missed it. Hmm? Well, and we feel like we get a lot of Q and A in here. Sure. So it wasn't as immediate of a need as we've been doing because, like, on the five K and um, everything that we've done at seven fifty um, that we've done after that, we answer a lot of questions on here. Oh, we started going man, live. That's good. It is good. Definitely right? better than the walking stick. I'm and not gonna lie. Most everything else. We've everything had. else we've had. This tops it. But back to what I was saying. We started doing live after our most recent Q and A's, and so I didn't feel like there was such a need for us to rush and get a 10K Q and A done because we talk to you guys every Sunday now. Yeah. But we still want to do something. So what are we gonna do, Chad? Well, we noticed that we are zeroing in on our one millionth view, cumulative view on YouTube. So one million cumulative views on the channel, mm. and that'll probably be happening by about mm, end of the month slash next month. Uh, so what we're gonna do. I know, it's glasses. Is we're going to interview each other. Sarah's going to interview me. I'm going to interview her. And we want your suggestions on questions. It could be about bourbon. And we've already gotten a lot of bourbon-related questions. It could be we're, about... We want to go beyond that. And we want to just know what you want to know about us. And we'll do both. We'll put in questions about bourbon. We'll put in questions about... Growing up. Growing up or... Whatever. Secret talents or... Yeah, whatever. So... If, if you don't care, go to patreon.com slash disburbanite. You don't have to be a patron to see and comment, I believe, um, on this post. You can definitely see it. You can it. definitely see it. I've never not been our Patreon person, so I don't know if you can comment. But I assume that you can. I think that you can. And in there, we have alternative ways of, of contacting us anyway. So please go check that out. Give us your feedback. All right. Cool. Cool. <laughs> no, this is good. And this is like $12. And this is great. This is a six-year... And again, this gets put on the bottom shelf. This is why it's a sleeper, because, like you said, a six-year, $12 yep. bourbon is better than all bottom, of these $20 yeah. ones that we just talked about. Bottled and bonds, so you know it's legit. Yeah. Like, what can you ask for? And it's from Heaven Hill, which I, I guess well, secretly am in love with. And that's uh, the Danny other Potter, reason I don't know. <laughs> why it's a sleeper is because so many people who might not be as initiated as you or I... Uh, here's Heaven Hill, and they think about those big 175 of the cheapo rum and vodka, mm -hmm. and, you know, I don't know if they do tequila or whatever. They have a lot of brands. But, like, oh, Heaven Hill, that's the cheap stuff, right? Well, no. I mean, they've <laughs> got a lot of products, Larceny being one, uh, uh, Elijah Craig, Evan Williams, so on and so forth. So a lot of times this gets passed up because of bottom shelf shaming. Yeah. And this is definitely a sleeper. Now, I think this is just available in Kentucky. Well, so if you come to Kentucky... You gotta pick this up. Please pick this up. And the 90 Do proof. it. Um, yeah, both the of them. Label. You can get both of them for less... You to, your total is gonna be 25 bucks, probably. Yeah. And you need them in your life. So that's what I'm gonna say. Yeah. Um, back Ooh, to delicious. this idea about our 10,000 subscribers slash oh, okay. 1 million views sure. video. This there might be good. some baby pictures. There <laughs> might be some little kid pictures. So you might want to tune in, like... What what did Chad look like in elementary school? Adorable. Even funnier, what did I look like in high school? Uh, uh, there were some uh, phases, you guys. That's what I want to know. That's what I want to see. <laughs> my mom, I told her that we were going to do this episode. My mom said, are you trying to scare him away? <laughs> Pam! Yikes. Brutal. <laughs> so mean. So we've inadvertently been on a Buffalo Trace kick here this episode. This is another... Well, again, should say Sazerac, so it could be Buffalo Trace, could be Barton. I've never had this. I'm convinced uh, I've never had this. All right. well, I know I didn't uncork it with you. so. Well, who did you uncork it with? Matt Preston and gang over at his house. All right, if you say so. <laughs> but again, this is in the E.H. Taylor bottle. It's a 90 proof. I thought it was a single barrel, but it's not. It just says Kentucky Straight Bourbon Whiskey. Chestnut Farms is what it's called. It's got a horse on it. Um, pal Joey said he threw out the white label because it had a chemical taste. That's a bummer. I've never experienced that. And then he couldn't find the green label, what he really wanted. So the difference, hmm. someone else, uh, James Hope asked, what's the difference between them? This is bottled and bond. The green label is 90 proof. They're both six years old. Um, again, both around 12 bucks here, so you should definitely get it. But, um. Pam says so not true. <laughs> You've always been beautiful. Pam. 
you did tease me. You said. <laughs> anyway, sorry. That's between me and Pam. We'll take that offline. <laughs> I did not open this with a group of strippers. <laughs> with a group of strippers. That's the look I gave him. Who did you open this with? Then? A group of strippers. Um. Huh. It has a... What is that? It's got a... It's got a little bit of a... Fruit. Dare I say foliage? <laughs> Okay. <laughs> I'm getting more of a, like, a fruit. Um, it is fruity. It tastes like outside. Yeah. Like, out, you know, how Well, this was tastes. first enjoyed around a campfire. So, I don't know. Maybe that stuck with it. If Cheater Chat. <laughs> no, he's fine. <laughs> it's, um... But if he wants to open a bottle with a group of strippers, I mean... <laughs> as long as he doesn't think that strippers like him for real and not because he's giving them bourbon money. Only strippers with a heart of gold. <laughs> right, okay, only those Like ones. pretty women. Is there like a, pa a test that they have to pass or something or... Yeah, they have to know the lines from pretty woman. Although she wasn't a stripper, she was an she escort. Was, yeah. She was a hooker with a heart of gold. I was like watching that movie when I was a little kid and I was like, I love this movie, it's so great. Damn. Well, then I'm later like, oh, but she's a hooker. <laughs> like, and you're rooting for her the whole time. I'm this little kid, like, yeah, you tell him. Go hooker. I mean, that's okay, profession to have. Uh, we're digressing. <laughs> this it's is the oldest profession in the world, uh, right? It's true. So, whatever. Good for you, Julia Roberts. You get him, Julia. Big mistake. Huge. <laughs> that's from the movie. <laughs> yeah. Um, I kind of get a little bit of a banana taste. A banana foster. Okay. A, a creme de banana. It's kind of tropical. Okay. Okay. I get your okay. banana, your banana foster, kind of like rum-ish. 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 rum, -ish. rum, -ish. rum -ish. Um, and yeah, kind of just islandy. I don't know. That's how I feel about this. Mm-hmm. If I were going to take a bourbon to the beach, maybe it would be this one. <laughs> I mean, just me and the bourbon go to the beach. We take pictures together. We go, uh, what's the hang gliding or whatever uh, they call parasailing? it. parasailing? Parasailing, yes. Sure. And you drop it. No! You grab it by the neck. <laughs> Don't you let go. Don't you let go on me. <laughs> the cork is like slowly inching out. Except for you need pliers, so. Well, I would hope it'd be a new bottle. Oh, we are so off, the off rails. track right off now. Off the rails. Yep. What time is it? <laughs> we got about we seven got minutes, minutes left. We got some minutes. We got is some there minutes? anything last yeah. that you would like us to try? Uh, the only things we haven't tried are the Green Label and the David Nicholson Reserve, which, just spoiler alert, is nutty. Uh, and I love... I could go grab my beloved Evan Williams oh, 1783. Yeah. 1783. I know we've talked about that a lot. <laughs> Let's There are no tropical. rails. There are no rails. Uh, I don't know who thumbs down this 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 video, Perry. I mean, the, the devil? Hey, you know what? And his that's, friend? That's their issue. <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Um... Uh, Wine drinkers, I don't know. 1783, Jeff Ellis says he just poured some. Oh, well, well you want to drink with Jeff? You spoke first, so you win. All right, fine. Um, I'm Sorry, just everyone else. Just, like, gently I love put you this all back in. equally. <laughs> and we'll probably have to transfer this to another bottle, but there's yeah, a lot in there. There is a lot in there. All right. Keep that 99 people. See you, Bourbon Blind. Okay, I can keep 99 people here, right? What kind of antics can I do? I got 99 uh, people, but... Uh, I can't juggle. Um, they're vodka drinkers. Someone said the pe two people who, who thumbs us down are vodka drinkers. Vodka. Hey, you know, I've realized at this point in my life that no matter what you do, you're never going to make everyone happy. There's always going to be something that you do that upsets at least one person, and that's okay. Well, I'm just imagining what... that they tune in every week and do the thumbs down. Well, like, maybe they get, just hate us. I'm get maybe they're competition. Guys. I would like to think not. I will support other people doing this because it means if enough people are able to do this and be successful and have a viewership, that it's a good industry. So, <laughs> whatever. If they have a problem with us, that's fine. I'm just going to go ahead and pour mine since you're not ready. Well, that's fine. Start singing. They said, and the, and the viewers will come back. <laughs> we are coming to Austin. Um, we oh, booked our Danny plane. Boy. We booked our tickets. We have our hotels. We're going. It's I happening. Don't know. I don't know. Um, oh, what what got in my head the other day? I couldn't get it out. It wasn't like the real version of the song. It was it was how Michael Sarah from Superbad was singing. Austin. These eyes, these eyes have seen a lot of you. 
<laughs> then I had to look it up. And the song is... I think I just blocked that out because it was... Yeah, you were like, what are you doing? I, I, I put it on, like, one song only, and it oh, stopped. Yeah. And you're like, why did you stop? I, I was like, I just want to hear that one song. Yeah, that's right. It was something like that. Well, we need to put this in the Infinity Bottle. We... Ooh, you're right. So do I need to go, get up and go get that? Nah. I'll go get we'll it. take that offline. Okay, fine. They don't want to watch us do that. Um, do we watch soccer games? I like soccer. I haven't been... Like, honestly, I don't watch too much TV because... Just time. Right. I mean, I'd rather dedicate it to planning show things. But I do like soccer a lot. Gotta watch the YouTube. The YouTube. The YouTube. Yeah. The YouTube. The YouTube. Um, yeah, so let's see. 1783. Musty. <sighs> mm. I'll always have a soft spot for this one. I suppose. So this is... 86 proof. So we've gone below 90, a little bit above it to 100. That's about it for Who today. Who killed this bottle? Mm, I think we know who's been drinking this bottle. Um, it's funny because a couple of years ago, I had a housewarming party, and Chad brought this to my party. Not this bottle, a full bottle. And he put, yeah, I brought you this. He put little stickers all of it, and it says... Uh, this is Sarah's favorite bourbon in the world, or something like that. They're the little dot stickers, but he, like, wrote it and put them all over it. And I drank it, obviously. And I still have the bottle. Because I'm just sentimental like that. No, you're not. But, it's, so that means even more. I'm not sentimental, and that, I kept it. That's what sealed the deal. <laughs> Gross. Yes, it was before we started dating, David. Yes, this was before we started dating. Dexter doesn't like bourbon. <laughs> Perry, we've tried. It was cute. I liked it, and I kept it. <laughs> I don't know where we're gonna put it. And then a year later, I had her. It, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> oh man, it's it's you know, it's solid. I think why I don't share the same affinity that you do for it. it this might been open be, for too long. Yeah, a little bit. Might be because it is eighty six proof. You know, I don't know. But I, it's really easy to drink. Where has this been? You brought it over. I brought this over? Yeah. Oh. oh I've yeah. had this one for a while. Okay, then. Wow. He's got some at his house. I've got some at my house. We <clears throat> drink so many other things, but yeah. this has been open for too long. I can taste it. Yeah. Normally, mm -hmm. though, yes, this is very good. This one, something's going on. All right, it's we, not got, we got to get in the home stretch here. Home stretch. Home stretch. Um, yeah, so anyway, drink those sleepers and find those obscure bourbons and try them out. Yeah. Uh, thanks so much for joining us on this dreary Sunday here in Kentucky. If you would like to follow us on the social medias, you might already be, but if you're not, please follow us at It's Bourbon Night. We also have a, uh, Amazon shop, right? Well, yeah, uh, amazon.com slash shop slash It's Bourbon Night, yes, and you can find, um, these glasses on there. I also just added um, the book that we were talking about last week, mm. and I added uh, the little glass drying rack that we were talking about previously on an episode. It's go. a baby bottle rack, but it really sure. works for these. It works, especially for sample bottles. And then um, we've already talked about Patreon, but you know, again, please visit Patreon.com/slash Bourbonite. It really helps out the channel, and you can. There's many levels, and also things for free that you can check out that we hope you do enjoy. And that'll do it, right? That'll do it. Next week, we're going to be live with Peggy No Stevens doing what? a very special episode on location. Fingers what? crossed the Wi-Fi works. Um, so until then. Wow. Until then, drink more bourbon. Wow, really? Yeah, really. Man. It's crazy. What do we get? You can tell them. What do we, we just wait till the camera cuts off now? We've never finished early before. No, I have to hit this <laughs> button over here. Oh, I see. Bye, guys. Thanks, guys. Bye. See you next week. <laughs>